Hey fellow world wearers, it's Angry Turtle and I'm making this quick video so you don't miss on those new generators that I would miss myself if not the fact that I'm reading your comments. I was like, I have so many generator skins. I don't need those. Even though the one good thing about them, they're nice, small and compact. So this is the small one, medium, large and fusion. Look at that fusion. That's the smallest that we ever get to, to put fusion generator into 100 power in this box. But what is so important about those generators that other generators do not offer. So it's not just the skin, not just smaller. It is a functional difference. So let's say you have something that requires power like uh, lights or this bug zapper. This stuff requires power. So. If I place it like that, it says that it requires power. If I go to it, I can deactivate and activate. And you may think, how is that even possible? It does require power and I can activate it and deactivate it. Like there is no power. I didn't drag any cables. Okay, for a, for a show, let me demonstrate a regular generators. I will get rid of those. I will store them for now. I go under generators and I'm putting a regular small one next to it. Look at that. The small generator is here. That's the bug zapper. I cannot switch it on. What would I need to do in order to get power to the bug zapper? You probably already know if you are new, you don't know. I would need to place that relatively close to the bug zapper. Then take a cable, put it into this generator and the bug zapper works. Now, if I move the bug zapper, like in here, that's the distance. If I move back zapper in here, the required on the right hand side power is not present. So this connector in here do not provide power over there. Now let me swap the generator without even putting any connector. So I'm removing the connector and this generator. I'm placing back this fusion generator from the storage in the same place that I had small generator and the pylon. Look at that. It's powered up. Let, let me move it away. Let me move it away. Look where it is. Generator is here. I move it over there. So it's not only what it says in the description about this generator that it provides area power. It provides area power everywhere. Let me move it in here. And I would almost miss on that. Okay, almost everywhere. It's it's out of range in here. Okay, let me see exactly where the range is. Here. So if you put the generator in the middle of the camp area, it will be the entire area. Now, that's the maximum distance the generator provides power into. So let me just move it now to the middle. And let's verify. Can I get power everywhere? The corner. Power it up. Other corner, as far as I can move. Powered up. It's wide. It means power up. And it's lightning. Powered up. It's honestly really pay to win item for camp designers. I will be honest. I've been pay to camp design, not to win. Pay, pay to get the best camp design. That's, that's how I would call it. If you put it on the middle, single one, entire camp will have the power. And for area power, you don't even need the fusion one, but you can as regular stuff. Some stuff requires connection, so it can be connected directly, of course. And if you wonder, if I uh, switch it to the small one, because sometimes you will not be able to put generator on the middle. Maybe the build design will not allow you. So if I put a small one, that's a fusion. Where is the small one? Okay, let me put a small one here, removing the fusion. The small one has smaller radius for power generation. Uh, let me check. Yeah, the small one has smaller radius. That's the radius. Unfortunately, if you want to use the small ones, the radius is much smaller. So because the size difference is not so big, 
then I would recommend still to go with the Fusion. Let's look at the size difference. Like it's it's not really big. Oh, that's the large. Where is the Fusion? That's the Fusion. That's the Fusion. So that is the size difference. Fusion versus small. And Fusion offers way bigger radius for power generation. So it is twice the size of small. Still way smaller than anything we have and provides the power in the radius of your camp if you put it on the middle or if you put two on the both sides of your camp the same result you will have power in entire camp for the area power purposes like lights and everything else that do not require direct connection you can skip all the wires and pylons and connectors that mess up with your camp design so that's big in my opinion that's why i'm making this video it's more than it appears Already, the fact that they do provide area power is huge and you can skip additional pylons and wires that normally need to be connected. But on top of that, the radius on the Fusion is insane. So that's what I wanted to let you know. I hope it was valuable information for you and I certainly hope you do have some atoms to spare as this one is really the one that you need and in case you want to see the super awesome crazy ride that we recently received <laughs> i got it too so that's the that's the ride let me jump on it at the very end so you see how the ride looks like so i showed you the generator and it's magic now that's the ride that's the ride <laughs> okay that's the right for you just for a good a happy ending and that being said thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.